Hey guys, how's it going? So I picked up a new screen for the Stodge Caravan we're gonna get installed here today. Let's get started. So to remove the plastic trim around the radio, we basically need to pry around the rim here. You could use a trim tool, plastic trim removal tool, or you could just use a flathead screwdriver. I'm just gonna use a flathead screwdriver, but be careful so you don't damage the plastic because obviously this is a bit sharp. You could start on one area once you get it in there a little bit and if it pops off, honestly, do it with your hand. Just kind of go around. Should just pop off pretty easily. Once you get the plastic frame, I guess, taken off, there's a... Uh, I think there's actually four screws. There's one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. So you wanna remove those and then this whole radio should just slide out. Let's go ahead and remove those. So when you get the four screws removed, we basically want to slide the radio out. I think even if you grab around here and just wiggle it out, it should just come out. So when you get the radio out, put your hand in here and the cables kind of, kind of gets caught there's like a metal piece here you can like lift the cable up so you get a bit more slack so you could pull the radio out more and then you could disconnect the cables so there's just little tabs you just push and it should just come out same thing with this one there's something here in the back you just push and it should just pop out this one same thing it's a little tab just push pull pops off push Pull, pops off. So this is what we get in the box. We get some cables. This should be the plug and play cable right here. We get a backup camera with the connections. And we get some more cables. I'm not too sure what these ones are for, but we'll figure it out in a bit. And obviously this is the screen itself. Alright guys, so once we get the screen unpackaged, we can go ahead and prep the, the cables. So we can start by grabbing this guy. This is basically the plug and play adapter. This is what's gonna make this install so easy because then we don't have to do any wire tapping or anything to the existing wiring harness. We just basically plug this into the screen and plug the other end into the car. So that's what's a good thing about this kit is it's plug and play, so it's, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and take out these cables. We can start by Plugging in the, I believe this is the radio antenna cable. We can plug it in over here, just like that. This guy is plugged in over here. Put 
Then this guy gets plugged into the screen, goes over here. And then this one, this one goes into the car. This one gets plugged in, gets plugged in over here. So that one over there, that one over there, antenna cable. This canvas adapter gets plugged in over here. This one, I believe it's a uh, GPS antenna. This one goes right over here. It says GPS, pretty self-explanatory. Get that in there nice and snug. So this one is just uh, the mic, I guess, for Bluetooth calling. So we could put that aside for now. So this cable, it's plugged in over here. Just like that. Honestly, most of the stuff we're not even gonna be using. I'll just plug it in for now. We have two USB cables. The connectors look a little bit different. So one is like a four pin, one's a six pin. If you look down in here, you can pretty much see the four pin goes over there and then the six pin goes over there. There's also this cable right here. I think this is for the reverse camera. The backup camera. This one, I believe, gets plugged in right over here. You can get your mic connected to right now if you want. I have to figure out how to route this. This is just a little holder, put that aside. This just connects into this harness right here. It's labeled mic. All right, now that we have this prepped up, we could go ahead and get it in the dash. So we could go ahead and plug the radio antenna in this white connection here. And then, I believe these two connections we don't use, so we can just put that in there. And then this big connector goes into this one. So we're gonna have to remove this piece over here, because we need to run these USB cables and the mic down somewhere so it's so we could get the the screen flush on there there's no gaps around here originally i wanted to just kind of pull it out of the side but there's no gaps around here to do that so i was thinking maybe we could remove this whole piece and just run it down and like maybe get it out in this area or something so to remove this there's two screws up here there's one over here and there's one over here when you remove those screws out, you can just get your pry tool and slowly kind of pry on the sides until the thing pops off. Same thing on this side. Just work your way, it should just pop off. Just work your way around the side. There you go. So when all the clips pop off all around, you basically want to lift the bottom. And it should just come down. So the two screws that I was talking about, one was over here and one was over here. So this kind of 
you have to pop the bottom off so it slides down and these things get free from up here in this area so once you get this out of the way um, as you can see it opens up and it's way easier to run the cable down and get it out somewhere you can even go ahead and unplug these guys completely get this out of the way there's two wire well actually three wire hardnesses just unplug these <clears throat> so we want to run the two USB cables down there and the mic because the mic is going to come handy for the Apple CarPlay with the voice recognition so obviously get it through under here and then you can just pop it out in this area. Grab the mic cable, go ahead and disconnect it and route it out from the bottom. Access cables, so you can just coil them back up into the back of the screen. So go ahead and grab your Arma Dash, whatever you want to call it. Plug in your connectors back. Put this back in, so. Slide the top in first, you want to get these parts up in that area back. Uh, maybe get your cables under here like this so it's not in the way of these, not in the way of the, I guess this channel of air that's going to go in there. And then we could go and get this back in here. bottom pushed in and then just push the sides back in grab the two screws that go up here get your screw in screw them in securely and now we can go ahead and put the screen into place You got all your cables into here in the back. The bottom in. Once you get the bottom in, there's like two little plastic pieces that need to slide into the area. Pop the bottom in, pop the top in. Another little my clip that came in the bag and we can so this little adhesive thing just comes off and then we put this one in and i'm just gonna slide her in here just like that get her up Guys, so you want to go ahead and tie wrap your cables too, so they don't wiggle in there and they don't cause noise, I guess, while you're driving. So you can go ahead and secure it with some tie wraps. All right, guys, we're all done. So we got a nice big screen. We got wireless Apple CarPlay. We got wired Apple CarPlay, obviously, to to the Apple Car CarPlay, we just connect your USB and connect it to your phone. Connect it to your phone and we go to the applications and we go to the Z-Link.
and it should just connect automatically boom that's it and for the wireless app carplay you just connect your bluetooth and connects like that too i already went ahead and i paired the phone with the with the screen we just turn on our bluetooth should just connect there you go connected and it should just connect over here wireless just take a little bit longer but it should just connect there you go once you see your phone name you're good to go and it's wireless nothing's connecting in there alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you guys are interested in purchasing this kit this plug and play kit I uh, will have the link in the description you could go ahead and pick one up and get it installed in your caravan I mean it looks very nice it works very nice it's nice and smooth nice to have a nice big modern screen in the car especially the Apple CarPlay is very convenient guys so the kit does include a backup camera but I did not install it in this video I have to first figure out how I want to run the cable to the back to the trunk so once I figure that out I'll make another video on how to do it so stay tuned mm -hmm.